Hello. Today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons because Russ is sleeping on my computer and I can't use it right now because I don't want to move him. Because look how cute he is. Russ, say hi to the camera. Okay, so today let's talk about naval combat. Um, in one of my games, my party is getting ready to go into their first um, round of naval combat against some pirates. And I want to know what are some cool homebrew rules you guys use to make uh, naval combat better. I'm talking about D&D 5e, 5th edition, by the way. And um, basically, I've only done it in one other game um, where we had... Uh, my players were, uh, my party was seabound for a little while, so we, um, we went ahead and had them have a couple encounters, um, with the other ships. Um, it's been a while since I did that, so I'm trying to remember exactly how I made that work, but for this game, really there's not too much homebrew stuff I did. I went and reread the, uh, Ghosts of Saltmarsh, uh, rulebook, and I pulled off the stats for, like, a warship, for my, my party's uh, big ship that they kind of inherited for their mission um, from a kingdom. And so I really didn't tweak the stats much. Um, I did go on, I googled, there's a, a thing, I think it's called of ships and cannons. Um, and I pulled up stats for like a nine pound cannon to add to their ship armament in addition to mangonels and ballistas and stuff like that. So just to add a little bit of a Pirates of the Caribbean type feel to it. Um, so really, um, uh, I'm using the kind of standard crew actions, uh, which include helping with movement speed, like the full speed ahead or the, um, helping, um, aim cannons, which gives the advantage, um, on, uh, the next time the, the ship's turn goes and you're letting crew members operate the weapons that the captain chooses to fire. I also, um, I felt like because one of the players in the party is the captain, they have, a, a their backstory, they were a pirate, so it totally made sense that they were the one out of the group to be the captain. Um, I didn't want them to be, like, kind of dominating the encounter, you know? So what I did was I said that, on their turn in the initiative order, uh, as an action, they have to do a command so that they give the um, they give the crew members those three actions, or if the crew dwindles down, it can go down to two or one actions, depending on crew attrition. Um, but anyway, uh, they have to use that at a turn, an action on their turn, in order to command the crew, which leaves them still a bonus action um, and movement if they need. Um, but I said, like, if during their turn they want to take an action other than the command action, then the next time it rolls around to the ship's turn, the, the crew's going to basically either repeat the last orders that the captain did give, or um, as a DM I'll kind of determine what they might do in the scenario, so it kind of would be out of the captain's hands. That way I feel like the player playing the captain has about the same amount of agency in the encounter as the other players do you know um so they can be using their individual ranged weapons or trying to help other crew or doing stuff like that so it's hopefully interactive and fun for everyone only oh and i added in addition to the cannons for the weapons on the ship i went ahead and added um like grappling hooks and like boarding ladders uh, i added different range markers for those the grappling hooks i did um, like a ranged weapon with a, a plus four to hit. So it's like 120 feet um, uh, or 180 at long range. And then I said if the ships get more than 180 feet apart, those ropes will snap. Um, and then for the ladders, I did like 80 feet. Um, that way they have the option to board the other ship if they want, since a lot of the, the party is more like melee fires. I thought that'd be a cool option to have. So... Those were really the homebrew additions that I added in. Um, everything else is pretty, uh, I'm going as rules as written. So i just love to hear what you guys do for your naval combat to spice things up. Let us know in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear um, how you guys make naval combat more interesting for D&D 5e. I'm Josh Linquist. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.